This mobile factory, currently deployed in Ukraine, can help war-torn communities rebuild their homes by turning rubble into bricks. Founded by engineers from Perth, Australia, Mobile Crisis Construction is a nonprofit creating machines that turn debris, like cement, glass, and local raw materials, into interlocking blocks, just like a Lego set. Their design allows even untrained workers to build housing and do so quickly, which is crucial in areas where shelling has destroyed the homes of entire communities. By using rubble as the main ingredient in their blocks, mobile crisis construction cuts costs by removing the need to source new materials, but also by eliminating additional steps in the making of traditional clay bricks. Ensuring clay blocks are strong, durable, and fire resistant requires steps like drying and firing the blocks at kilns at over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Cement blocks, on the other hand, don't need these processes, as cement cures the blocks, removing the need for thermal treatment. The nonprofit says that the cement curing process takes about a week after which the blocks are ready to use. The debris blocks are made inside a mobile factory so small that it fits inside a 20-foot container, which makes it easier to ship and deliver in and out of disaster zones. A single mobile factory can produce 8,000 blocks over 10 hours. This means that in a week, the machine can make enough blocks to construct a school, a hospital, or three freestanding suburban houses. Mobile Crisis Construction began operations after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022. Since then, they've been sending their mobile factories to communities destroyed by Russian shelling. The nonprofit's founders estimate that at least 50 of their machines are needed to help meet reconstruction needs, but that this number will increase dramatically when the war ends. In February 2025, a UN report estimated that direct infrastructure damage in Ukraine since 2022 has now reached $176 billion, with housing being the hardest hit sector. A long-term goal for mobile crisis construction is to deploy their machines in other war-torn countries too, but the biggest challenge ahead is the cost of producing a single mobile factory, which currently amounts to 120,000 Australian dollars. While the cost of rebuilding is so high, could mobile factories like this be the future of disaster recovery? Let us know what you think in the comments, and for more coverage, head to Mashable.com.